mưa nào êm đềm khẽ lướt qua làn môi mềm lấp lánh như ngàn kia nắng sưởi ấm cõi lòng em time out in Hanoi. Have a look at the street. Now I did think that China was bad but this is absolutely stupid. You cannot even get to the footpath and of course once you step on the road you take your life in your hands here. Well I have to admit after only a couple of hours here you were right this is absolute madness. This is the hardware street where you can buy anything from padlocks, the fence fittings, and here goes the funeral. restaurant this place will do the washing up for you so we'll go for a wander up the street here if I can find the footpath I think it's somewhere in between these bikes here Just what I want, a motorbike to rent. As if. And here's a local restaurant. What are you doing with those little tickets? You watch the buses and traffic coming on your left. Thank you, Mrs. Wombat. And we've walked around the block, we've had lunch, and there, actually over the road with the red flag outside it, that's the hostel where we're staying. And I'll tell you what, I'm glad we got a back room. What about you, Mrs. Wombat? Are you glad we got a back room? Otherwise, the bloody noise would drive me stupid. And I'm glad it's not on the fourth floor. Yeah. What's the time, Mrs. Wombat? Oh, it's 7.30. Okay, 7.30. We're heading out for dinner. It's sheer absolute lunacy. Here's the footpath. You can see the footpath. Well, you can't see the footpath. You cannot possibly physically walk on the footpath. It's impossible. So you must walk on the road. And here's the road, like the girl there, you see? Here's the road. Now try walking on this one. And they're coming from both ways. Get out of my bloody camera, will you? The biggest worry here is really getting run over, because you will. But as I said before, you cannot possibly physically walk on the footpath. And now they're all opening up their stalls on the roadside. So it's going to get busier here. If it can get any busier, that is. This is one back. Yeah, I just told the lady to shut up. Yeah, well this looks like a nice quiet street. Why don't we go down here? 
This one's quiet. Yeah, this is quiet street. Look, there's a few yards without a motorbike on it. Quick, let's go. We have stopped at a little street stall for dinner and I've got stir-fried prawns, Joe has got stir-fried chicken and a couple of beer by Harm Noi, which means beer Hanoi. And it's very pleasant and relaxed and quiet atmosphere right here at the restaurant, as you can see. If the stalls were any lower, I wouldn't be able to get down there. So how was your dinner, Mrs. Wombat? It was delicious. It was good? It was good. Okay, well, I'm glad about that. I'm well, glad you liked it. But the folk behind this yeah. have baguettes. Have they what? Have baguettes. They have tomato and cheese and... Hey. Oh, baguettes. They've got baguettes. I see. I do have a bit of a problem with these with these little stalls, Mrs. Wombat. You have a little problem. Well, I have a job getting down there. Never mind getting up. You must, now have, you must have a lot hanging over. Well, now we've finished. There's the lady who collects the bill, who collects the money from you when you've eaten. She, the lady in the in the black and white stripe. She wanders around with a notepad and she makes a note of everything you've eaten. And I can't think what else cost us. I've got to remember what was it to write it down. Oh, no, how much did it cost us? One hundred and sixty-five thousand. One hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. Not very much if you say it quickly. Another side street. Fortunately, cars can't get down here. It doesn't stop the bikes. So it's pretty full on. We'll keep walking. sit down in a quiet spot and have a beer. Here they are, spoiling all the 